Hello there, Cougars. It is Wednesday, October 9th. We got lots of stuff to cover. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to read this whole letter, but this comes from the federal government. And I'm just going to remind gentlemen in the school uh, that it is a legal requirement to register for selective service as a uh, male when you reach the age of 18. In fact, you can go to sss.gov, that's the selective service website, um, and pre register at 17 and three months. Um, and then um, it will register you at 18. Uh, but just a reminder that it is a legal requirement, f uh, federal law, to register when you're 18. Um, and if you don't, um, uh, and you uh, don't do this, you can be turned down for college loans and grants, um, federally funded training and certification programs, federal, un federal employment, um, many state and local government jobs, and uh, immigrants can have a delay in processing citizenship applications. So this is again from the letter from Donald Benton. So I'm supposed to remind you guys that register for selective service when you're 18. I remember re registering for selective service when I was 18. Um, it was like a postcard you filled out back then. I think you just go online. It takes like 15 seconds now. Um, so that's something you're supposed to do. Uh, also want to give a shout out to senior Caden Reynolds. Um, got noticed yesterday that uh, Caden has been named the International Motor Contest Association National Rookie of the Year. Uh, I guess it's uh, uh, a racing series that he participates in, um, and he's the Rookie of the Year for the whole country, uh, which is awesome. So congratulations to him. He has 10 wins um, and is the youngest member of his team, and he's posted 25 top five finishes in 46 points races, um, as well as qualified for the, what's called the Big Dance at Super Nationals in his first attempt. So that's pretty cool. So congratulations to you, Caden, on that huge achievement, National Rookie of the Year. All right, what else we got going on today? All right, the new electric car team had a good start to the new year. Jonathan Tedesco got first in handling. Colin Flanagan got first in Class 2 Endurance, his very first endurance event. Kaylee Martin got a third in Class 1 Endurance, and Jonathan Tedesco brought home third place in Class 2 Endurance. Now we get to work building... Now we get to work building cars for spring. Cool. Friday night football game. Help stock the Cougar Corner food pantry. Bring a non-perishable item or toiletry to help fill our pantry. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> one item. That's all we ask. One item. Homecoming pictures are in. They may be picked up in room 164 before or after school on Thursday and Friday. Not today. It's not too late to sign up for Kennedy Parent Teacher Conferences for Thursday, October 10th and Wednesday, October 16th from 3.30 to 7 p.m. To sign up, you may need to locate the link on Kennedy's website. Click on the header, Our School, at the top of the page, and click on Conference Scheduling. You will have to enter your student's first and last name and their six-digit six digit student ID number. Conference times are 10 minutes in length, and parents are limited to three individual sessions. The link will close at midnight prior to each conference date. Sophomore and junior students interested in taking the PSAT on October 16th must sign up at the end of the school day this Friday in the counseling office. Forms were sent home, but extra copies are available in the counseling office if need be. Cougar Advisory will have its first meeting of the new school year. A and C lunches will meet on Tuesday, October 22nd, and B and D lunches will meet on October, Wednesday, October 23rd in the middle IMC. Sign-up sheets are in the main office. Don't delay. Sign up today. This is a time for students to voice their concerns with Mr. Klein. So if you don't know what Cougar Advisory is, especially you freshmen, but also upperclassmen may not be aware, uh, it's an opportunity. One, we provide pizza and breadsticks, so it's free food. Two, um, you get to talk to me, which, I mean, you can do anyway in the hallway, but it's sort of a formal uh, opportunity for you to sit down and talk about, we d I, I just asked the question, how are things going? And uh, we just start talking about stuff. And a lot of things that we've done in the school have come from Cougar Advisory. A lot of the things that we've done, students have provided a lot of really great insights on a lot of great things. So um, I encourage you to sign up. We just need you to sign up ahead of time so we know how much pizza to order. Um, and so please sign up uh, by the deadlines. Uh, well, the deadline will be um, the Friday before. So um, I don't know what date that is, but the Friday before Tuesday, October 22nd. So just uh, this week, next week, sign up in the main office. Love to have you. Pizza and breadsticks. That's what's got to bring you in. Just make it that. Um, if you are a sophomore or junior interested in pursuing a Kirkwood Acad Academy next school year, you may want to take part in one of the upcoming showcase days. The Lynn County Regional Center will showcase five different career pathways in the coming months, allowing students to explore career interests. 
look deeper at Kirkwood offerings, meet teachers and visit the regional center. The five career areas featured include public safety, business and IT, skilled trades, health services, and human services and education. The first showcase event will be held on October 29th and will explore the public safety, safety pathway. If you're interested in pursuing a career in criminal justice, EMT, firefighting, or similar careers, consider this showcase. For more information and to register for any of the showcase experiences, please see the email sent to your school inbox. Check your email. Attention students, if you'd like ACT study materials, please stop in the counseling office and grab a two-book set. They're free while supplies last. So if you are studying for the ACT, we've got free materials in your counseling office. Stop by and grab that. Juniors and seniors interested in internships through Workplace Learning Connections can log into their portal on the Kirkwood website to start the process. These are 45 or 90 hour hands-on internships in a field of your interest. Registration closes October 31st. How spooky. Attention students, CPR certification is a graduation requirement. If you have not completed CPR requirements, seniors, and you have a PE or early release this semester, you should complete CPR during your PE class or release time on Tuesday, October 15th in the main gym. Check the list for, uh, for CPR status outside of Miss Mead's room. That's 252. It is up to you to get this taken care of. Or, and I'm serious about this, you can't graduate. You cannot walk across the stage if this is not done. This is a state requirement. So make sure you get it done. Juniors with a 3.5 GPA or over, you've been invited to apply for Kennedy's Chapter of National Honor Society. You've received an email and instructions with an application in your email. It is due October 14th. And if you're a senior and not an NHS and you'd like to consider joining and have a 3.5 GPA or higher, see Ms. Casper in 72 or Ms. Bell in 210. Homeless Night will be held on Friday, October 25th. There is no football game that night. Students who raise $15 will be allowed to participate. Those raising $20 or more will be given a T-shirt from student government. All money donated will be given to local shelters. If you want a t-shirt, you must register by October 18th. Others may register up to October 24th. See Mr. B in room 164 to get a form. You must register for this event. It is held outside in front of the school from 9, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Saturday morning. If you've never participated in Homeless Night, it's a great opportunity uh, to raise some money for homeless folks and to learn a little bit about what it's like to live uh, in that kind of condition. Activities for today, there's none except for parent-teacher conferences, so come on out and cheer on your parents. Birthdays today, Ian Diedrich, Megan Cousins, happy birthday to you two. This may be the smallest birthday day I've ever seen. Only two students. But it's also Mr. Larry William, his birthday today. They call him the big cat. They call him Romeo. Give him a high five in the, ho in the hallways. You see him every day. He's telling you to get to class. Happy birthday, Mr. Larry Williams. Lunch menu for today, burger basket, station one and two. Station three, salad, subs, parfaits, hot dogs, and cheeseburgers. She's getting ready. Station four, His Excellency, the King Chicken Sandwich. And, of course, station five, tortellini with meat sauce, breadsticks, and green beans. Alternate is pepperoni pizza. It's great to see so many people wearing blue today. Say no to bullying. Was well, part of that MVP program we go through. We talk about it. you got to stand up to it as a bystander. You got to say no to it as someone who's standing on the sides. You got to support people who are victims of it and report it because we want to deal with it. So please stand up to bullying. Um, great, to, great to see people uh, expressing that with what they're wearing today. And let's do that every day. Cougars treat each other with kindness and respect, and always 